Oh wait, my mic's not working. Oh no, there it is. Yeah. My mic was being the bitch. Oh, wow. You just spent 15 minutes on technical difficulties. It was nice. working earlier <laughs> than when I said hello. It was like, no. It was like, I'd rather mm, not. No, I'm not doing that. Um, right. We're back to the old bottle for a little bit. What? Yes, I felt like orange today instead of pink. Orange. Orange. Why? What? Why what? I had. Why what? Do you see this? What? The random, like, black bar? No. No. Also, babe, you need to change your title at the tippy top. Oh, right. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not getting a random black bar. All right. What was I doing? Oh. I had it. I had my Discord open weird. Anyway, um, oh crap! Oh, yeah. I actually have to go to the bathroom. Already, it's just like a <laughs> need to start. I need a bio break. Oh, this is my best bet. It's the curse of eating right before stream. <laughs> and I ate before stream too. So did I. I always fortunately, eat stream. fortunately, my system takes a little bit longer. I'm not a Betsy Wetsy. <gasps> Hi, Lilith. Lilith, hello. I cannot see chat, just so everybody knows. Yes. Um, I can only see the game screen. Um, unless I pop over Discord, in which case I still can't see any of you guys. I'm sorry. I could open another window, but if I do that, there's a fair good chance that everything will like glitch. And I'd rather not. So. He does end. Hi, Lena. Hi, Cal. Hi, Lena. Thank you for the sub. Lena told me you subbed, so thank you so much. Um, we had a discussion before we opened the mics, and we're going to be starting a new game because some people were not here for the last one. Some people, you know, were doing Mother's Day stuff for Mother's Day. Also, because the prologue is something you cannot go back to. I did not get everything done and I am just one of those, I'm one of those gamers where if I left a stone unturned, I feel bad. I feel like I did it wrong and I must go back. And you can't go back to the prologue without starting a new game. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, because I wasn't here last time. Yes, there, there is that, and there is also, um, you know, ho hopefully, uh, some some extra people because we didn't have very many people on Mother's Day stream, possibly because it was Mother's Day. But since this was my Mother's Day gift, I seriously wanted to play it on Mother's Day, and I have not touched it except for that one game. So. This is mostly brand new to me. Yeah, Lita and I want to make this a constant Friday thing. <laughs> well, I can only play a certain number of games, but I can play them a lot. You sound like you are limited game options. Well, I'm limited in my, in my game ability. She said I sound like I'm limited in my game options. No, no, I have lots and lots and lots of options. The problem is I'm limited in my ability. You do not want to watch me play Stray. It's frustrating as shit. I am I terrible. Do, yeah, exactly. I want to watch me. Lita just, me, heck yeah. Lita just said hands up if you want to see Mama play Stray. I, guys. We will be stuck in the same area of, like for forever. Okay. Uh... You know, you. I'll play Ori for you. I will die a lot. I think my maximum number was about six hundred times. Six hundred times. I died. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say I'm not a good gamer. People don't believe me. I am a bad gamer. I am not good at this. Fire. <clears throat> No, seriously, I die a lot.
However, I am a thorough gamer. I do do everything. I just, you know, to me, it's kind of like, if you're going to play a game, you want to get your money's worth out of it, play the whole thing. Don't be skipping areas just for a speed run or something. 100% that sucker and get your money's worth. <laughs> you know. Uh, I wish I could read chat. Uh, I'm going to sneak over and read Lita's screen while she's not here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Lita wants you to. I would love to watch you play. Mm -hmm. Like anything. Yes. Definitely 100%. I love you back, Lita. So happy. Oh. Betsy Wetsy. Oh, oh, you should have heard that squeal. Nobody can push your buttons like your mom. Nobody can push your buttons like your mom, I tell you what. <laughs> um, instant. Oh, thank you for the cheer, Lena. Love, lots of love. Um, just because uh, I, I got a message from Jimby um, about an hour ago, they're doing well. They're mostly in and out. They might lurk for a few minutes and watch, you know, just for the entertainment. Um, may not chat at all. May not be able to watch even, but they're doing yeah, um well. Um, just wanted to let everybody know, you know, they're, they're basically not anywhere on social media right now because they're basically hopped up on meds and high as shit, but they're doing okay. <laughs> the surgery went well. They're already home. You know, they're doing well, so. Yeah, yeah, they're they're on Twitter. They're just probably not gonna say anything. If they do, you know, great. But I, I'm just letting you know, it's there. There's a lot of there's a lot of medication in that that person right now. Mhm. Mm and rightfully so. But I'm so happy and pleased for them. This is this has been a long time coming, and I'm so glad that it's already done. And it sounds like Lena will be, oh, Lena, Lita will be coming back in a minute. Lena is still here. <clears throat> oh, God. I love that while she was at my desk, she collected all of my. <laughs> I need to pull this out of, of the way of cat can so I can grab it. There we go. I wanted an energy drink, but I'm sorry. I don't want to dox myself for it. I'm back. Oh, what can I say? It's a mom thing. <laughs> There's some white socks. Yeah, that's mama. Yeah. We went out today, so she's got socks on. Thank you for the cheer. I appreciate it. Thank you for the biddies. Much appreciated. All right, let me catch up. Hi, baby. Are you still here? Yes, I'm still here. You were so glad. Uh, my brain died in the process. It's fine. Clearly. How is everyone Friday going? So um, For me, it is going well. I'm about to pull up Star's chat so that I can read both of them in case uh, his doesn't. He misses his. Isn't and it? vice versa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I am no longer being able to chat, so if, the, if Star or Lita didn't tell me it happened, it didn't happen for me. 
You'll have to bust that us to let yep. Mama know. Yep, yep. Uh, right now I can't see any of you, so give me just a second. I am checking out my audio because I know. Yeah, audio is a little weird because we're sharing a mic, but mm, that's to be expected. Do you have my mic turned off? Yes, I have your mic turned off because otherwise people will hear us double. <clears throat> Hey, that'd just be twice as nice, right? I am joking. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, hi, Linda. I see you in hubby's chat. How are you, darling? How was your day? It's a Friday. Last day of school for the week. Yay. Uh, are you excited to have a three-day weekend? Yeah, I was going to say, when does school actually end? Ours always ended in June. Yeah. Same. Uh, I got Twitter like from them. Still here, yeah. It's almost tomorrow here though. Oh, honey, do you need to go to sleep? Not me sitting outside, enjoying the sun while it's still out. I mean, who, who was that? Was... Lena? No, that was Calvin. Oh. Family night. Okay. How is it midnight there? What? No, Lena is saying that it's almost tomorrow. In oh, yeah. Lena is a grown woman. She can make her own choices. Yeah. <laughs> no, Calvin is saying that it, um, he's enjoying the sun while it's still out. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I have Irish coffee. I'm very happy. <laughs> and let me see if I can pop out my chat. I can. Woo! Big excitement. That makes my life a little easier. Yeah. I love how broken my um, my viewer stat is. <sighs> that is just the light. Literally. I yeah. mean, I mean, yeah, mine says one, so. Yeah, mine says two. And we both know we have more than that, because I'm at least watching yours, and so is Lilith. Luna. Yeah. Luna, Lilith. Yeah, Lena's still in yours. Cal's Lina. still in yours. You're still in mine. Yeah, because I'm in mod view, I'm watching, literally. Oh, well, who knows? Twitch is just broken as shit. Yeah. YouTube is starting to look really good, guys. Um, YouTube or Kick? Kick's, uh, showing up. I might start streaming some of my streams here and some of my streams on Kick. Hmm. I don't know, when all the large streamers are going back to YouTube, somehow YouTube seems like a better option. What? It'll depend. What do you guys think? If I stream elsewhere, would you rather it be on YouTube or on Kick? I've never even heard of Kick. Kick is better for content creators because it gives them more control over their ads and their revenue. The yeah. problem with YouTube is it gives zero control to the creators in, in AdSense, and they will, like, stop your ad revenue for any fucking reason under the sun. Well, I yeah. understand that. The The problem with with YouTube versus Kick is YouTube, you have little to no control, but Kick is basically unknown. Well, it's getting more traction that's one of the reasons why I still want to stream some on Twitch is to let people know like some days you're gonna see me here on Twitch but if you want to see me every day of the week I stream here on kick on these days mm -hmm. you know yeah and kicks like affiliate goals are pretty low low yeah like their, their partner ones are a little more difficult but 
I don't know. Comparatively, it's definitely a... It's leaned more towards creators and less towards the corporation. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, it's probably trying to be, you know, what Twitch should have been. Used to be, yeah. Used to be. But I'm, I'm just wondering how fast it's going to get any traction. Ah! You know. It, it, it's a concern we can talk about in the business meeting later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'll go ahead and post my kick leak in case anybody wants to go ahead and go follow me there. Um, I don't have anything set up yet because I made it yesterday. But if anybody wants to go find, follow me on kick for when I do eventually stream on there, here you go. Thank you, because I tried to find you yesterday and I couldn't. So Probably so. hadn't made my account yet. Yeah. Something you might want to do is set up a card. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking either a card or one of those um, link trees. Yeah, where you where you've got all the different links in one place. Yeah, because cards are usually more for um, artists. Uh, yeah, artists uh -huh. and businesses. So that would be for like um, when I start selling dice and um, plushies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Which, I, I really don't know if I'm going to do that one, honestly. Yeah. I'm going to pin my kick link. Would you like me to pin yours, babe? Yeah, yes. please. Okay. And right now, I'm just going through... I can send them to you, Cal. I'll DM them to you. Okay, Jimby says he probably won't be here today. He's pretty out of it. That's understandable. I hope that he feels better. I'll post the VOD after stream, so that way they mm -hmm. can at least see the VOD. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now it should look pretty much like it used to or like it does here on twitch okay Deep. we don't need to be doing this we've been live for 15 yeah, minutes and i've still got this <laughs> new yeah, game let's, let's go into new game okay we're gonna I'm not worried. start a new <laughs> game new game it's how you move all right <clears throat> that's what you think this is how I move. Probably be useful information if you could see it. Mm -hmm. uh, go inside. It smells like a diner and it smells like they're open. Hopefully they don't have a no shirt, no shoes, magazine stuck to your face, no service sign posted. Inside. I mean, I hope not. That, that would be such a strange thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, Nightingale, welcome, welcome to all travelers. Hi. Oh, try coffee, you'll like it eventually. I'm kind of glad the glass metal box here, but you can't actually see what it is. It's the bathroom, probably. Go inside. That would be oddly specific, says we know about the, the no shoes, no shirt, no mags. <laughs> oddly can't. specific. Very oddly specific, yeah. You blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror, revealing... Yes? Okay. <clears throat> now, Lita says... Why is this not... Okay. Lita says I should go for this one. She always has her hair in a bun. 
I do always have my hair in a bun. That looks like grandma. I'm sorry. What? You phrased it like that. I know what it looks like. Yeah. Grandma. So we can either go here or here or with one of the slightly shorter hairstyles. I like this one because it looks like space buttons. Yeah, I like no one. Green looks, but yeah. Yeah. If y'all are okay with that, I think that's going to be my face. There you are. In the bathroom. Okay. Oh my god, you look like Leia. <laughs> a little bit. Ooh, they've got one of those new meat-operated multi-selection photographs or juke boxes, as the kids but call them. Neat. Hey, there's something in the coin return. Grab, Grab it. it. Luna <laughs> says that she is lurking because she's still at her friend's house. Okay. But games are for being someone else, says Lena. Fine. What? Games are for being someone else. That's why. Well, not the book. Um, yeah, because I may be grandma, but I don't want to look like it. You are not. You are Baba. I actually don't look like. She doesn't. No, she still got bright red hair. Yeah, I need to touch up the henna on the the. Here's yeah. the funny thing, I get fucking sideburns. I get like these silver sideburns. <laughs> It's just, if I was a guy, they would look so good. And it's me, and it doesn't. A couple of older folks are having an animated fashion. Well, one of them. Listen in. Hmm. The way these young women act these days with their short hair and their sassy talks and their dresses that don't even cover their, their, their ankles. It's scandalous. And those dances they do, flailing around like I don't know what. I'd have thought Prohibition would have put the kibosh on that sort of Tom Sloop freak. But no, sir. I can't imagine dancing along to the music they're playing nowadays, though. And that's the problem right there. This newfangled jazz music with all the drums and, and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that anyway? Jazz. I think our cups got switched. You're supposed to be drinking tea. Please. <laughs> I love them. Some petty vandal has scratched the name Dan Bob into the surface of this table. <laughs> A couple of young women are chatting breezily over coffee. Talk to them. Hey, kitten, what town is this? Look, Eepsy, are you two traveling? Yeah, Ocean City's turning into a real sawmill, so we visited our jelly beans freezer for a weekend world of hot potato. Oh, Bushwood, you make it sound like we went south with it. I flew in Mackay. Everything's Jake. Jeez, I'm pretty sure I'm only three or four years older than you two, but I barely understand what you're saying. What are you, a cancel stamp? Go put some pepper in your shoes. Uh, yeah, I'll try that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. The sign says, meat only, no credit. Okay. Before you talk to, uh, her at the counter. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you which of these you would rather have. And from there, I'm going to tell you how to choose your answers with her. Okay. Okay. Would you rather have plus three HP, plus one to melee lepe weapons, plus one to ranged weapons, plus one to magical weapons, plus 20% to meat drops, plus 20% to item drops, plus one physical armor or flavor text? Hmm. Thank you for the link, sheep. The, the, the HP seems like the most useful, to be honest. Okay. okay. I think that's the one you'd wind up doing anyway, knowing how you choose things. This man is concentrating very hard on his coffee. Talk to him. Is there something particularly interesting about that coffee? It's my first one of the day. No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, my dear, you poor thing. <laughs> oh, what do you think? I think it's a bad beverage. It's bitter and it makes my stomach hurt. Oh, well, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another one after this, though. And then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. Well, enjoy. Me, when I was 12. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Skeep. I love you. Oh, my God. What? 
Look at the names. It's not exact. What? That's crazy. Do you even know what we're cackling at, baby? Yes. Yeah, he knows my my actual genuine on my birth certificate first name. How? You've told me. I did. But I that. You don't remember what you had for breakfast this morning. I don't think I had breakfast this morning. Yes, you did. Did I? Yes. You had or ramen with poison sauce. No, that was lunch. Okay. I need a name. Oh my god. We're just gonna go with Freddy. Um, a bottle of hoisted sauce. Go home. No. Open the fridge. I already yeah. have a bottle of hoisted sauce. Don't. You're, I'm gonna stop you right now. The second. <gasps> Lena says that Marguerite is her middle name. Yes. What? Oh, I know, I know Lena's actual name, although I don't think I knew her middle name. Yo. Um, and it's, it's an absolutely beautiful name. I am going to say this. She deserve, she deserves to have that name and such a beautiful name. Freddie who? Freddie? <laughs> Freddie Lee? Um. Freddie Edwards. You don't want to pick a last name? Um, I, I'm like... Hmm. Freddie Wabbit. You're my mom, after all. My last name's Wabbit. <laughs> it must be your married name. <laughs> my name is Star. <laughs> Pretty who, pretty who, pretty who. Hmm. Do you also remember what my name means? Asked Lena. Yes, I do. What does it mean? Um, her first name is like um a bird. Ooh, pretty. A very pretty bird. And yeah. Ironic, because your nickname is bird. Y'all names are too similar. Okay. Her middle name is close to your first name. Her first name is, is close to your screen name or in the same, like, genre. No, my name's Pearl. Greggy is Pearl. Ren. Oh. You forgot that you've been going by Ren for fucking ever? Apparently. Apparently. Oh my god. Can <laughs> I get a cup of coffee? One meat. Coffee. Got diner coffee. Okay, so I think after this one it'll be Okay. Does the best Ocean City pick up here? Sure does. Should be here any minute. Good thing too. I here we're in for rain. Rain? Is rain here? Yay. How are you? Rain. I I oh, actually rain. love I missed them. Ethel here. That's a reason, hun, but it's somebody else's reason. What's your reason? That I, is such a valid question. And nobody ever thinks about it like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, you want to know the answers here to get plus three health? Yeah. Uh, first one? I just really want to help. Mm-hmm. What would be your actual option? That's what I always pick. Okay, then yeah, that that's the correct option for the first one. Uh huh. And then after this, it would also be number one. Okay. What what happens if you choose two? So if you choose two, you get Scouts Honor. That technic, I think that one also gives you plus three. But um, if you choose plus one, you get Big Heart. So it depends if you want to have a Big Heart or if you want Scouts Honor. What's the benefit of Scout's Honor? Because that's what I chose last time. It's the same. It's plus three health. 
I, I, I misread it originally. I thought it didn't give you anything, but it also gives you plus three health. You just love helping people. I don't think so. Oops. I... Okay, that's annoying, though. Um, I think that's sweet. The world can use more folks like you, I think. Back out and let's see. How are you, Rain? We're good. I'm frustrated because I think I might have accidentally given her the... God damn it! Okay, now we have to start all over. What? That's in order to get Big Heart, yeah. Well, yeah, well, at least we're not too far into it. Yeah. Uh... Oh. See, okay, so for all the other ones, it literally tells you the flavor text, but for that one, it doesn't. Like, if you do, I'm searching for something, just trying to find myself, I guess, it says under description, maybe you're in a mirror somewhere. <laughs> Rude. Glad to see you all. Aww. We're glad to see you. Are you okay? Surviving? That sounds so sad. Are you good, honey? Say, Sam? And you spelled it one way or another. Okay. Also, yeah. I don't know if it's only on my end, but the audio is cutting sometimes. Yeah, Big Heart gives you max uh, plus three. Yeah. Okay. Let me check your audio a bit. Please. So I'm going to deafen so I can see if the game is... Yeah. Uh, in case I don't reply. Okay. Ooh, that's very loud. Hi. Do you want me to read this or do you want to read this? <clears throat> uh, I'll read it. Okay. You pull out the letter you got from Uncle Mary and read it again. Murray Morris, care of Murray's Antiques, 111 Plunkett Street, Ocean City, California, I'm sure. Dear Freddie, I hope this letter finds you well. I hope it finds you quickly. Uh, something quite serious has happened, and I need the help of your adventuresome spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you are able, please. Your Uncle Murray. Put the letter away. Take a nap. Ignoring the spooky clown! The clown demon. It's a clown demon. I'm like, bless with baby. I'm worried. Mm -hmm. You're just about to go mad from the mon monotony of this ride. I should have brought a book. When the bus <laughs> suddenly judders. Judders? What kind of word is that to a sob? <laughs> You look out the window expecting to see the sights and sounds of Ocean City, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Uh. Game is loud, you and mom are quiet. Okay, hold up. Hmm. Okay. That should fix it. <laughs> okay, basic skills. I have no basic skills really. I have not bought any. Strong back, quit wit, quit wit, or fashion sense. Whoa. Uh. I would say don't grab anything just yet. Uh -huh. And don't don't drink or eat anything unless I tell you to. I didn't intend to. Turn the game up just a smidge. I kind of turned it down because it's nothing but sounds. 
There's no dialogue. So. Yeah, well, um, we're trying to get the audio back even. Yeah. Much better? Cool, 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 cool. Come back, baby, I miss you. Before we talk to the bus driver, I, the narrator, am interrupting because I've seen you played through this bit before. Would you like to skip the prologue? If you do, you will go directly to Ocean City with 17 meat, 45 experience points, and any items you kept in previous prologue playthroughs. PPP. No! No! Oh, we, no. The whole point of doing the prologue is to get something different. Yes. Hi, baby! And hi, Val! What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Nope. Sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Oh, jeez. Can you fill up before we left? I filled up the bus, but this trip takes exactly one full tank of gas. He hands you an empty gas can. Plus one additional can. Well, Why do I have to go get it? <clears throat> well, I got myself except for two reasons. Those being, firstly, as I'm the bus driver, I'm legally responsible for this bus, and I've got to keep my eye on it. And secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fella that doesn't want to go wandering around in the rain at night. Anyway, this is the story of my f***ing life. Well, all right, then. I mean, yeah, you're the player. Guess I haven't got much choice. Can I borrow your umbrella at least? This is a left-handed umbrella. I am left-handed, as it happens. But you aren't registered to my umbrella. Damn it. Sorry about that. Here, I do have a flashlight you can use, though. Good luck. Thanks. <clears throat> no, I was meaning IRL. Yeah. You're not left-handed, IRL. No, I mean IRL. This is the story of my life. Why do I have to do it? Oh, because nobody else will? Uh, oh, yeah. Basically. Grape and dragon fruit candy. I am left-handed. I am occasionally right-handed. Don't that, tell anybody. That, that is oddly threatening. Drink red cola. Protect your family. Uh, can can you like go up to the sign and your character? An the old billboard, billboard from before the war. What war? What is the war? war? Is the red part of the cola my enemy's blood? Maybe. I mean, it does sound threatening. A little bit of gas and left in this bump, but there's no hose on. Seems like just yesterday, the gas only cost six and fifteen sixty fourth meat a gallon. Sorry, those were the days. Okay. <clears throat> this station seems to have run out of service. Let's go in anyway. Rude. Postcards. Either there are postcards or all the scenery around here is invisible. No, no. There's one object left on the snapshot. Chico! Nobody in their right mind would consider this foul substance a snack. Rude. Mm -hmm. I love cheese -its. It's cheese -lo. So? Sounds like a cheese it to me. It's weird that the cash register is pointed towards the front of the store. Nude it. Mostly empty, but you find some loose change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheese, says Lena. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's the First World War, but it is around Prohibition era. Here's the problem. In the last game, which we will be playing sometimes on the channel, I think, um, the, the, the cow demons and the clown demons are embroiled in a fight. And you have to worry about cow demons attacking you. So I genuinely don't think that we should expect it to be too much like actual history. <laughs> True. <laughs>
Dad joke. Yeah, I'm thinking of one. Hey, Mom, do you have one? A dad joke? Yeah. Mm. Or a mom joke. Hmm. Press it. What do cowboys put on their salads? Ironic given the previous game, what? Ranch dressing. <laughs> Divorce. Can't be divorced if we're not married yet. We are married! I don't love you. Fuck you! <laughs> it's a Friday, ma'am, and this is a family night. Watch your mouth and my Y'all don't, don't have conjugal relations on Fridays? Apparently not. <laughs> no, because our daughter's involved. What? That was awful wording, babe. Look, it's Friday and it's family night. <laughs> that was terrible wording. I hate myself and Yorby. What do a tick and the Eiffel Tower have in common? I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. They're both parasites. Ah, oh, I love it. I hate you, Lena. <laughs> you went over when? a kick and it won't let you follow us? Um, weird. Do you have an account? When is a door not a door when it's a jar? Why are you skipping this, Mama? I... Because y'all were talking. Okay. Hi there. Her head turns very slowly to face you and her eyes don't quite meet yours. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh. Also, I don't have a car. What's your name? I'm Grady. Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia, although I admit the circumstances aren't great. So what's in Albany? Do you have family there? No, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fair. Do you know where I can get some gas? Gas? The bus I was on ran out. The driver sent me to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get Ocean City. I've never been there. Okay, then. Um, how about this rain? How about this rain? Lydia looks very slightly surprised and glances around slowly. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, it sure is. What a night to be stuck on the road, right? What? I hadn't noticed. Hi. You aren't much of a notice. Uh, yeah. She, she doesn't seem to notice a lot. So, you know where you said, um, scroll up? Where, where it said, so how about this rain then? Rain ghost just popped in my chat going, yeah? <laughs> I love you, rain. You're gorgeous. You. <laughs> that was beautiful. Never mind me. <laughs> You're great, and we love you. Yes, rain is here. I love rain. Mm -hmm. Seen any good movies lately? I saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Oh, that's a classic. What did you think? It was very scary. I liked it. I prefer comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one, The Gamerman? I don't know who that is. Okay, Buster Keaton was in the 20s, so that locates it right in, right after World War One. But let's not assume that there ever was World War One because... It did say from before the war. Yes, but... Just trust me, okay? Oh, he's great. You have to see Sherlock Jr. That's my favorite. Really terrific. Um, read any good books lately? I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Oh, yeah. Hey, she Wells is great. Have you read his new one? The War in the Air? I didn't care for it. The one I was thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forget the name, but it was terrible. His early works are the best, like The Time Machine. I love that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on, Lydia. So, um, um. Okay, okay bye, good bye. luck. Good luck. 
I once read a book about glue. I couldn't put it down. Really, Val? It's Lydia. Talk to her. Hi there, Lydia. She looks at you and nods. Just enough for it to count as a nod instead of a blank stare. Okay, bye. This field is extremely corny. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, uh, I don't want to be unfriendly, but this is a private residence that y'all just barged into. Geez, sorry. Everything's so desolate outside, I guess I just assumed this place was abandoned. Well, come morning, you'll be right, so you might as well get in and out of the rain for a spell. My name's Greddy Dren. Howdy, Greddy. I'm I, Elias. Elias Jacko. Make yourself... I wonder how they came up with these names, man. Make yourself at home. Random word generator? Bears? Are these re boxes really full of bears? Now those boxes are all canned bears. I had a little fun writing the labels is all. You want a can? I got one left that didn't fit. Got an item. Bibson's Extra Sweet Pears. Jeez. There's a weird device on top of this box. What's this funny looking thing? That's a duck call. What's it for? It's for calling ducks. Oh fun. Used to be. Doesn't don't work anymore on account of being haunted. Haunted? Yeah, well, not haunted exactly. A bunch of spiders got in there and now it sounds all scary when you blow it. I see. If you want it, it's yours. You gingerly take the duck call, trying very hard not to think about spiders. You got an item. Haunted duck call. Foot spiders. Good job. <clears throat> There's a rifle hanging out of the hole. That's the last of it. Are you leaving this rifle behind? Yep. How come? Well, that's a, it's a varmint rifle, and where I'm going, there ain't any varmints. There's vermin, to be sure, and critters, and such, such as like that. But the almanac don't list any examples of a varmint for a varmint, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. Mm-mm. None of you spread over it right now. In any case, that gun is for later. Later? Yep, much later. Huh, okay. <gasps> Lena says we're spiders. Yeah, for spiders. A Kitchens Incorporated brand kitchen sink. Tears. It makes me wonder if we're going to see that gun later on. Wait, are these boxes of tears or tear? Tears. Don't be ridiculous. You can't put either one of them in boxes. Huh? That doesn't make any kind of sense. I can't do bugs, period. And, yeah, no, I wonder what that fucking means. What's with these boxes of gears? My daughter Simone left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep them for her. That makes sense. All these boxes are labeled shares. What's in here? Stocks? Scissors! So it should be shears. So it's not wanting them in my house? Gates. This is a very large box, considering that most people own either zero or one class ring. Two at most. Is this box really full of class rings? Yep, about 140 of them. Did you go to college 140 times? Or are we in Twilight now? <laughs> Literally! Yeah, no, of course not. I just collect them as all. Why? Well, they're rare, but not very rare. And they're all different in interesting ways, and they're shiny. That there's the collecting trifecta. Huh. I mean, he's not wrong. He is, he is wrong. not no. wrong. This door is locked with some kind of elaborate electrical aspect. What's with this door? Oh, that's my daughter Simone's room who left college. Hopefully she ain't left anything important in there because I plumb forgot how to work that crazy lock she invented. Okay, this door leads to the bathroom. I see you can use it. Now you need your bathroom. Sure. How'd you know that door was to the bath was the bathroom though? I've always had a knack for knowing which doors lead to bathrooms as well. Yep. Hit it. Armor Chekhov's house. Bathroom. Flush it. Game five XP. You can see your face in Elias's mirror, just like your own mirror back home. Gaze into it. Gonna smile. And then we're gonna leave. Because I like having a smile. 
a vicious cloth that attacked me? Is there anything about the bathtub? No. Surprisingly modern toilet for such an old house. Okay, so that's it. It's a collection of stains. A collection of stains makes its home home on the range. Well, this door looks like it hasn't been used in a while. That's where it leads. Where does this door lead, I ask you? Spare bedroom. Ain't been used in forever. I don't even bother opening the door since the dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself, though I doubt you'll find much of use. A dust devil? Yeah, those critters are a real nuisance around here. They're attracted to beds that ain't been cleaned under properly, and since I lost my broom back in 26, it's been a real, what's mine call it? A nutrient-rich environment. Our little beast, real territorial. I love okay. rain, too, Lena. Huh? Lena says, I love rain, both the sound and rain underscore ghost. And I quite agree. Mm -hmm. Also, I found the hilarious. He's like, mm. he, he didn't know what nutrient-rich environment means. A tasteful arrangement of dried fronds. Shop is full of pulp westerns. Take a look. Look, 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 look. You got an item, the handgun's tail. Get another one. Are there any more? No, doesn't look like it. There's only there's only one book ever. Trail at Bloody Gold. Sheriff of, I wanna read that one. The Sheriff's of Tarnation. Oh, that yeah, that's a weird name. Search it. You find an old wallet in the drawer. Then Nice. Dust Devil. We're not dragging out the Dust Devil because I know right now I cannot beat it. Yeah, let's collect as many items as we can first and then we'll go through and figure out what we need to do in what order. Okay, there's a loose floorboard there. There's nothing on the clothesline except a pair of socks and an old gun. Looted. Rusty pistol. The skip crow is a bit more intimidating than usual. The crows around here must be real aggressive. Show it, you aren't scared. What? Okay. You have one AP. Two physical damage. No action points, so we're going to the whack it. And hmm. throw a rock again. And we're going to the whack it again. It's just a regular scarecrow with a gun. Excellent. DMs. This tractor is the right most interesting thing. It's, a, it's an old tractor. There's an old rag shoved in where the gas cap should be. The gas cap out. Pull the rag out and sniff the tank. Smells like there's a little gas left in there. Collect it. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else you can do with this tractor except maybe sit in it and pretend to be a farmer. In the rain, we're doing. I hope I have the time to harvest my rye before time to deworm the hens. Keep pretending to farm. I'll gather eggs from the roosters before sun up. <laughs> Keep pretending to farm. You're seriously pretending if you're gathering eggs from roosters. I got to say, I'm going to fertilize the rye and then fertilize my millet. Keep pretending to farm. Time to fertilize my fields. Man, even pretending to farm is hard work. 
It really is. Also, Lena said, yay, at me right behind you, Gertie. I don't know what that was in reference to. And in A bird. Oh, yeah, a bird. <laughs> and MZ says, get ready for a surprise. What the fuck? What? Oh! Um, I I just got a very big raid. I will be right back. I mean, um... I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. I must ask you to stop playing for a second. Okay. I will be right back to those in my husband's stream as I need to death in real quick. Hi, everyone. Hello, Bean Goblin. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. I, I'm, I'm floored. I, I appreciate it. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> You're It must be ad time. Nice. Uh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Thank you, MZs, for recommending me. Cause I, I'm, I get the feeling you recommended me. Otherwise, dang. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, so we're gonna wait for everybody to get out. Mahogany Goblin, thank you so much for the raid and the fun. Welcome to the Fluffle. I appreciate you so much. I, 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 I'm floored. I appreciate you so much. I did not expect to get a raid. Um, currently, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, the Forebringer. I love your name. Your name is great. Um, let me pull my, uh, my alert box up so I can actually see you guys. Hello, everyone. So, I, 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 hi, I'm, I, ooh, I was genuinely not expecting to have a raid today. I appreciate you. Thank you for following me on Twitter, Bean. Oh, my God. This is so sweet. Oh, wow. Um. Hello, hello, hello to everybody new here. My name is Lita. I am the bloody rabbit in question. I am a uh, variety streamer currently doing a collaboration with my husband and my mother um, for family night, wherein my mom is actually playing the game for once. I do everything from art to games to just chatting. Sometimes I'll even do crafts because I'm planning on getting into making resin dice soon. So, um, look forward to seeing that. And thank you guys so much for popping in. I hope you enjoy the stream um, and that uh, you guys enjoy following me. I, I immediately Val has to do schmall. Wow, I get newcomers and I'm I'm be I'm not gonna do small real quick. I will or, or for a little bit. I will wait for people to get to know me before they are they are scarred by my my Yeah. It's a, it's a redeem my husband likes. Um it's And only, your mom hates. Yeah, it solely exists for him. It's basically me being cringe for like oh. five to ten minutes. Oh, while you're small, you get to do the reading. No! <laughs> We're not doing small. That, 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 that's such I'm a... going to actually ask that you take that. You have to do it now because somebody redeemed it, but I'm going to ask that you take that redeem off for family night. Uh, I will take it off for family night, um, but I'm, ju I'm just, I'm not going to do it tonight. I will, I will give you back your points for that. Thank you for the jump scare. How rude. Mean Val. I <laughs> Over the small. Do you really want me to do small? It's so cringe. Did you know you are a cutie? Thank you. Don't worry you. about it, Star. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything, says so Val. Rude. Rude lies. You know the worst part about playing this prologue is it's raining in my ears and then putting me to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. 
Uh, yes, there is my hub and he is also a part of this. I'm going to undeaf in here in just a second so you guys can hear him. And uh, please go follow him as well if you can. I appreciate that so much. And there is also, actually that is an old link. Please do not follow that one um, because that particular Twitter was hacked and taken. I will actually post my mother's new link because that particular Twitter is no longer viable. You didn't change my Twitter. Oh. No, I didn't. Okay. I meant to, but uh, it's been a while since I was around. So. Yeah. Oh, of course that one's not working either. Mom, what is your Twitter name? Greddy Alt. I know, but I'm like... Greddy underscore Alt. Oh! Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I tried to make it as easy as possible. I know you did. The writing account is Freddie Writes. There you go, guys. I didn't eat, do anything. I'm just drinking coffee. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for popping in. I hope that you've been to the stream. It's tomorrow now. We can go to bed. We love you. You're don't, welcome. Don't, don't tell somebody that could be your mother what to do. She says she talked to bed. I'm just... Oh, okay. I'm just, Lena, I love you. Good night, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Val. How rude. Rude. I love you guys. Thank you so much again for the raid. I appreciate it. To anybody who wants to stick around, I hope you enjoy stream. Um, I will have to read chat out now and again to Mom, as she cannot see this while playing games. Yes, I, I am on a older system, and if I bring up the chat, my computer will lag, and the game will yeah. be no fun. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Reed, so I, I, much. I like that, I like that 100 bits. <laughs> As in, uh, instead of quite a bit. I appreciate you so much. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have been an absolute joy. I am going to go ahead and undeafen so that you guys can hear my husband again. Hello to my husband. Hello, I was just going to message that you were still deafened. These socks just keep getting better. Wonderful yeah, thing. The barn, the barn doors are locked. Rude. Rude. And just so you know, babe, I'm going to log into your stream elements to fix thank your mom you. shout out. Yes, Thank you, please. I appreciate that. My husband's also my secretary, fun fact. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, not, they're a rather non-traditional couple. Oh, absolutely. It's like, it's just keep getting wetter. We just keep getting more um, non-traditional as the days go by, too. Yeah. Um, okay, MCs, thank you so much for popping in and for the raid recommendation. I appreciate you. It was so sweet. It was very sweet. And Bean seems like an absolute sweetheart. I look forward to seeing streams. Yeah, Bean has some amazing streams. I have never seen it. Okay. Back to game. Okay, we're talking to Farmer Chekhov. So you're moving out? Out. Finished packing. So now I'm just waiting for the movers to come take this last load of stuff. You've got movers coming in the middle of the night. On the morning, I went, but I went and packed my teddy bear, and I forgot which box is in. Can't sleep. Besides which, I did not see a bedroom for him. I see. Mm -hmm. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here now, or keeping me here. I never particularly cared for farming anyhow. Just kind of fell into it. Even how do you fall into farming? So I reckoned I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit, see what kind of trouble I can get up to. Yeah. Nice. So what's your story? What are you doing out on a night like this? I got a letter from my Uncle Murray. It sounded urgent, so I have to bust to Ocean City. Not sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I got you. Well, I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You'd be, you're welcome to it. Thanks. I gotta warn you, though. You'll have to fight my daughter for it. What? 
Well, technically, I should say my daughter's monster. What? It's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? I like that word a bit. Mm -hmm. See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an autonomous robo traption to help with plowing and harvesting and the like. Worked real nice, too. Wow. Problem is, after she went, it le she after she left, it went and blew a what to do, and it got filed. I'm pretty good with machinery, but when it comes to these newfangled electronics, I might as well be a, a dog trying to read Plato. So I locked it in the bar. Ah, I see. You're welcome to try your hand against it if you can mind to, but please be careful. It's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. You got an item. Farmer Chekhov's barn key. Thanks. Okay, so I guess we go unlock the bar. Unlock the See if it works now. Go in. Yep, there you go. Uh, you have a reoccurring nightmare about searching for something in one of these. <laughs> The, the what? If you guys have not played West of Loathing, you search haystacks for needles all the time. Yeah, it's great. There, there are a lot of things in here that are going to be. And you are key. No! It's just Thank a painting you. of a bunch of tools. Also, that is what schmall sounds like, if anybody was fishing wondering. rod! Yay! She won't miss it, you assume? I got a fishing rod. I'll test my fishing rod in a watering trough or some long gone livestock. I don't think mom can hear me anymore. Yeah, I can't hear Star. Well, Star's not saying anything. Yeah, I can hear you. I wasn't saying anything because I'm now. trying to fix this, that's why. It's a nice barrel, but it'd be nicer if it had anything in it. Based on the arrangement of objects around it, you conclude that this is a machine for turning hail bales and hail hay bales into loose hay. Okay, and there is the machine. Well then. Shall we try it? Might as well. Might as well. Destroy it. You're not going to get past that thing without destroying it. Destroy it then. Okay. <clears throat> Mung's monster. For five physical damage. Let's see. If let's see, just whoops, decrease targets muscle muscality and mocks a useful one for five. Um, should I should I use the haunted quack or should I bash it with the rock? Uh, oh, that deals three physical damage, and it's only got four HP. Bash it with a rock. Then we're gonna smash Here it. There we go. That works. That worked. That I worked. Like and it. my lovely husband fixed your uh, axe. Thank you. Simone's monster is now just a pile of parts on the floor. Rest in parts. <clears throat> it's a workbench for welding. Search it. You'd go up there if it weren't for your hay fever and you're falling out of loss fever. Okay. You went through a lot to gain access to this can, except your reward. Victory is sweet. It's probably the lead that makes it sweet. Got a full can of gas. Okay. Now, we need two Moxie to search the workbench for welding. And... Three muscle to force open that cabinet. Okay. We're gonna go on down here. This turtle is stuck on its back. Why aren't you helping it? Helping it. I'm helping it. There you go. Enjoy blue cola, the honorable choice. That, uh, uh, that, keep that in mind, by the way. The, the fact that there are signs about red versus blue cola. Yeah. Looks like they drove the box car after and then took the driveway. Wait, I think they missed the Aiden box car. Okay, Topeka. You've Sounds heard a lot of thing. nice things about Topeka, but not 1,200 miles worth of nice things. 
Okay. You're never able to go to Topeka, I've noticed. Never. Never able to go to Topeka. Bad. The fuel. Ah. Okay. Now I can see everything okay. shiny. Oh, oh that's shiny. Okay. Cheerful looking hobo toodles idly on a harmonica. Interrupted doodling. I'm ready. We'll have to get an answer on that way. Oh, welcome, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Pleased to meet you. I'm not actually from around here, though. Well, the way I see it, this whole country is my home, so everybody is my neighbor. Oh, that's nice. Either that, or they're all trespassers who better go off my property. Haha, uh, uh -huh, I'm just joshing your friend. Care for some jerky? What kind? Clam. It's a local delicacy. Huh. Sure, I'll have some jerky. There you are. Can't buy this stuff myself. Like eating a dried slug, but saltier. Come to think of it, that's exactly what it is. You're really selling me on this local delicacy. If you ask me, the locals are a bit weird. Where are you from? Originally, I'm from Hawaii, but I got bored of gorgeous tropical beaches and decided to hit the rails. You rode the rails from Hawaii? <laughs> yep. Real challenging trip for a first time hobo, but I made it through all right. Ever think of going back? They only got the one track there, so it was a one way trip. Might head back for a bit once I built a second one, though. Hmm. <laughs> Do you live here? Not permanent like, but I've been kind of camped out here for a few days. All alone? Well, it used to be a tad livelier, but the boss sent a railroad bull to run everybody off. Railroad bull? You mean like a cop? Yeah, you could say. I think he's still prowling out back if you care to test your metal. I don't advise it, though. Is he packing heat? No, he's unarmed. But one of your arms might make a pretty good club once he gets it off again. Hmm. Any plans for the future? Well, word on the wall is that there's scant forming in Ocean City. If you're all moving over there once this rain lets up, I bet you will see him in Ocean City. Word on the wall? I never heard that phrase. Is like through the grapevine? Yeah, similar. I see. Okay. Incomprehensible glyphs are scrawled on the wall. Two muscle. <clears throat> Is this knapsack your only luggage? Oh, that ain't mine. It's been here since before I arrived myself. Nobody's been out able to work out how to open the dang thing. You can figure out the trick. You're welcome to it. Inspect the bag. It appears to be made to be latched shut with one of those puzzles made out of bent nails and steel wire. How was how he wasn't just harmonicating Dixie. <laughs> uh, open it for three months. Okay, two muscle, three moxie. Yeah, once we've explored everywhere enough to know, like, where to Three muscle. I'll kind of start Two in. Can you hear me at all? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to talk to you and you're talking over me. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> have we explored everywhere? I think so. Okay. Then I will start telling you what order to do things in. Okay. So I'm down for that. Okay. Uh, go to... You've already gotten... Did you get the baseball bat? Yes. Cool. And you got the cheese loaf, and you got the five meat from Chris... Yeah. Crestinger Automotive. Uh, yeah. Did you look at the old personal files and get the XP from that? And... Um, I don't think so. Okay, that's in Christinger's automotive. Yeah. I I know where he is. There's a weird plaque where Lydia was standing. Maybe it did. Historic site in this spot it, on the thirteenth of October nineteen oh eight. The state's first mass produced automobile, a Ford Model T purchased by Hiramo Collins, 
accidentally struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker, Lydia Barnsley. So apparently, the woman you talked to a few minutes ago has been dead for exactly 20 years. Good. Swell. Lovely. Everything about this is great and you aren't regretting this trip before you've even arrived. Go back your normal, not wanted day. Cause that's not fucking spooky. Okay, it's not letting me read the personal files. Not even letting me try. Okay, I'm assuming that you've already gotten the XP from that then. I didn't. Yeah, you're supposed to, uh, okay, hold up. Did you convince yourself that you were an employee, at, uh, to enter? It didn't ask me to. It's supposed to. Like, to enter this room, you're supposed to... Okay. Oh, I, I did that wrong then. That's why it's not letting you get the XP. Oh. Great. Oh, well. <sighs> okay. It's 5 XP. We'll, we'll get it when we're fighting. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we don't need that XP. Okay. Okay, don't eat anything. I'm okay. not eating anything. Okay, so did you check the fuse box? Yes, I already fixed the fuse box. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and got the gas out of the car. Okay. Okay. And yeah, open the barn key. Do. Figuring this thing out takes three myst mysticality, but I don't think we need it. So, if you want to get an achievement, you need it. Mm -hmm. If you want to get an achievement, you need it. Because we need to get to 300% gas. Yes. Okay. But I already got the gas out of the car. Um, okay, well, let's, 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 let's see. So we destroyed that thing. Uh, did you fish in the toilet? Yeah. I did not. Go fish in the toilet. Whoop! Thank you for the... Oh! I Wait, I also need to fish in here. Mm-hmm. Can't fish in it. <laughs> Should have known there weren't any fish in there. You can see the exact thing from here. Okay. Why? Hmm, this turtle seems to be it. At this rate, it might be either. Take it with you. What should we name the turtle? Turtle. Ma Mabel. Mabel? Okay. Mabel. The. What? I love the name Mabel mm -hmm. for the turtle. Mabel. Okay. Mm. Okay, do you want to do the fuel reserves achievement? Basically, do you want to get 300? Oh, we will. I mean, we did last time. Okay, well, the reason I ask is that it'll, I can tell you what first you need to upgrade then. Um, okay, hold on just a second. Take your time. I need to go fishing in the toilet. Fish, 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 fish. I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? Because I think I'm slightly delirious. <laughs> and that was the silliest phrasing ever.
efficient. One might be getting sleepy. Fishing shorts! Yay! That gives me armor. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 Um, we're going to equip that. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Lucian? And Mabel. A slow bandage. Okay. Okay. Is your muscle? Is your moxie? Huh. <laughs> okay. All right. We fished in the toilet. Now what? Okay. And you put on the old fishing shorts? Yep. Okay. So, uh, go back to the cornfield with the scarecrow. Okay. Okay, around here you're going to start hearing me out there. Investigate. You bend down to peer between the socks, but the cat gets spooked and runs off in the direction of the barn. I think it's still outside. It's being terribly dense to wander in those woods. Okay. Alright, so we got the cat started. What? Okay. Um. I'm standing out in the rain. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you get the, um, uh, did you, like, get the SIT ring? Yes. Okay. Uh, what percentage are you at with the gas can? Like a hundred and sixty something, I think. <laughs> Hold on. No. Backpack. A hundred and thirty-three. So. Okay. So that tells me where we're at with that. Okay. So, go back to the um, car and go ahead and eat the clam jerky. The specific? Huh? I said that's oddly specific. Yeah, not that car. <laughs> Sorry, it's a box car. Oh. You said car, honey. Yeah, I know. You didn't, yeah, I'm not, uh, that one's on me. That one's absolutely on me. I have to eat the clam jerky? You. Yeah. Yes, you have to eat the clam jerky. Alright. Damn jerky. Increases your muscle by one. Okay, now I have, um... You know on the jerky until the gnawing is done. It's all like it's... Whew! That's likely clammier. Okay. Okay. Now I also have um, 20 XP that I can buy one thing. Yes. So, hold up. Let me go up and see what you need to... Because I remember what... So, strong back. That's what you need to grab. Okay. I need to grab strong back. Now I can't get more than one. I know. Strong back's the one you need to get. Okay, buy this skill. Just trust me. <laughs> and then open this door. Force it open. Extremely heavy. Yes, yes, it is. 
Why do my cat just recraft? Weird. I do not know. Weird. It's fine on my end. Okay. Somebody has placed a filthy, a sheet of filthy linoleum on this ground here in an effort to lend legitimacy to this outdoor kitchen. The stew in this pot is beyond help. You could probably salvage the label. Do so. Hey, this isn't a label it's a spatula, and no wonder the stew is so messed up. Grimy spatula. It's one of those newfangled indoor outdoor refrigerators. Open it. Somebody left a perfectly good mason jar full of gasoline in here. Take it. Okay. There's a carving on the trunk of this tree. It says, How he loves playing the harmonica. Aww. You might be able to hear the cat. I can hear the cat. There we go. Ah, it sounds like the mystery meower is hiding behind this tree. Okay, now go attack the Minotaur. It's the railroad bull that Howie told us you oh, told you about. Although railroad minotaur would probably be more accurate. Take the bull by the horns. Mm -hmm. Uh throw a rock and then uh yeah. shoot it. Rock. Weapon attack. Oh, There we go. Okay. You beat the Minotaur. You gain 5 XP. Lucy and the Sparrow grow stronger. Okay. Yep. Help yourself. And then open up your stats page, please. You got an item 200% full gas scan. And open my stats page. Yep, you want to get fashion sense. Character sheet. Well, I would, but it, it costs 15, and I only have 10. Okay. Yep. Uh. Yeah, that's probably because of the... You defeated the Scarecrow, right? Yeah. Okay. Time is it? 6.42. Why is my good night light on? I don't know. Mm. Weird. Okay. We need to go ahead and do the other muscle things. Okay, yeah. You want to go back to the barn. I almost turned something off. Whoops. Go oh, BB. Sorry, future sick horses. Okay. Cannot search it because no one can see. Yep, we're done with the muscle requirements now. So we need to eat the cheese low. Yummy. <laughs> uh, go back to the Me. thing, you, the okay. workbench. Eat the cheese low. Yeah. Blurg. There's an absence of crack. First you eat the cheese off with your bare hands in the end you're unclean both inside and out. But we have improved living. Okay, now where? Uh, you want to go back to where you just were, where the robot was, and... And moxie this up. Hmm? Welding glove. 
Nice. And of course, put that on, I think. Yes. Equipped. Okay, I am equipped with welding gloves. Do I want the rusty pistol? Yeah. Okay. For now. Go back and sell uh, the SIT ring to Elias. Bean! Hey, Alex. Hmm, what can I do Nothing. for you? Tell him about... Love your face! Thank you so much you for the it's ring! Old class ring. You hand it to him and he looks at it. Mom? Open. What? I'm trying to say goodnight to my radar. Give me just a second, okay? Okay. Uh, thank you so much for raiding again. Next, <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful, sweet, sweet dream. Okay. Uh, SIT ring. Okay. Hey, a 17 SIT ring. I've got one of those in faux fo emerald, but not a faux sapphire one like this. They're the ones they gave to the university pig skinners. A little enchantment on them so the kids wouldn't get quite so many concussions. Probably worn off by now. Is it worth anything? Nah, not to a jeweler or pawnbroker or anything like that. Eight carat golds. And the stone's made of glass. A collector would give you 30 meat for it, such as myself, if you're interested in selling it. Sure, you can not, but... Uh, the 30 meat, I think. Are you sure? Uh, hold up. Go back to Elias's. Select two. It's all yours if you want it. Actually, you can just have it. Yeah. And that should give you... Five yep, XP. 5 XP. Oh, thank you. That's right, generous. He marries it a bit more and then slips into the pocket of his overalls. Don't mention it. Okay, now I'll get fashion sense. Now we get fashion sense. By the skip. Yes. And then go back to the box car and you can open up the knapsack. Right. Spell pagan. I fucking did. Hold up. Let me fix my tags. Dang. Oh, wait. How did you spell it? I have a pack. With an E. We didn't grab it. I got the crowbar. Mm -hmm. Yay! Sick. Okay, so you don't need the moxie anymore, so have the papers. Okay. And then equip the turtle. Okay. We're gonna go fight the spiders. Yay! Whoops. What happened? Uh, <laughs> big clip. And... Oh, do you want to have the greasy? Yeah, you probably do want to have the greasy baseball bat. So actually, we need to equip that uh, over the rusty. Yes. You open the can using the can opener you keep hidden in your sock in case the can is an emergency. I need the sugar repairs. You gain an effect. Extra candy. Sweet. Too sweet, in fact. Okay, so we want the baseball bat. Because that does muscle. <laughs> so now we have everything at two. Comprehensible beliefs. Okay. Now, <clears throat> loose floorboard. Right there. Go down there. Oops. I can prove that. Pick the unbroken ones. Yes. First old vegetables. Okay. 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 Greasy baseball bat. Yep. Uh. Can't tell if these spiders are fighting or flirting. Interrupted either way. Okay. You want to attack the more dangerous ones first.
Okay. Be more danger of Brian's blind spider. Okay. Do I throw a rack and then attack, but at the more dangerous one? Okay. I like how they're blind. Yeah, me too. Okay. Dead spiders. Yeah. You render check off cellar spider lists or food for your spiders that are large enough for you to see. Asia. Okay, anything else? No, why not? All right. Are we ready to do the dust devil? Uh, let me check. Um. We're done with the root cellar. Yep. Drag the dust devil out. Yes, I'm sure. Vicious stabbing. Okay. So I heave this at it. Yep. Then yeah. throw a rock at it. I um, would recommend using both the rock and well, okay, throw the rock first. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let me oh well that's all you can do, so yeah, okay. Okay, do I do this again? Mm, hold up. No, there's there's uh, no point. Okay. Yep, you're done. Sick. Nice. This one. That's still that. Do you? Awesome. Okay. Okay. Open up your thing. Which one? Uh, L1. Oh, shit. You're supposed to have 15 here so that you can upgrade your mysticality. Mm-hmm. Um, the last thing here, I don't think. Yep. Because basically what you need to do to get that last gas can is have three mysticality, but we can't upgrade quick wit, so we can't do that. But that only gives us a, um, yeah, that only gives us a, an achievement. So technically you don't need it. I love your sound effects, babe. What might be? Yeah. You know. Okay. So, now um, you can find the cat. Yeah, cat, cat. So it should be in the station yet. Yeah. No, it's not yet. I haven't found it in the first place. Okay, hold up. Let me... Yeah, fancy... Cornfield. In the barn, yeah. Oh, in the barn? Yeah, cornfield next to the barn. That's what it says. No, out. Left cornfield. There it is. East. Okay. And now we go to the station. 
inside the station. No. Kitty. Bye, kitty. All right. So, yeah, um, I, w I would have had to have pretended to be an employee. Yeah, to fully get all of the, the fuel. Mm -hmm. Talk to him. And, hey there, friend, ain't luck with the gas? You still have a drive for the gas can. Well, this gas can. Well, uh huh, that, this can doesn't usually hold that much gas. Not sure how you did that. Well, whatever. You ready to hit the road? Yeah, let's get out of here. If you check the pan and empties it into the bus's tank. And with that, we're on our way. You gain 10 XP. Get back on the bus. Climb back on the bus and return to your seat. Soon you're dozing off to the rain, sound of rain scattering on the window beside you. Unfortunately, it's barely an approximation of sleep, the sort of sleep you slip into, so gradually that you don't even know you're asleep until something wakes you up. Blanket straight. And you realize that your meandering thoughts of the past few minutes have been utterly strange, shadowy tendrils whispering ideas. Hey, kid, this is your stop, right? That are now totally forgotten. But... What? All ashore, what's going ashore? Thanks for traveling, Willis Bus Company. Disembark. Okay. There's Murray's Antiques. Hello, Murray's Surplus. All right, and from here, you are off on your own. Yep. <clears throat> nice weather we're having. He smiles and looks up and lets the rain splash on his face for off. Yeah, suits me just fine, I guess. A wise man once said, the rain falls on poor men and rich men alike. Was that before umbrellas were invented, or... My name's Gus, by the way. I am Gretty. Pleased to meet you, Gretty. Say, you wouldn't have a couple of meat to spare, would you? Sure. You flip Gus some meat and he beams. Thank you very much, Gretty. Oh, Gus won't forget your kindness, you bet. Take your easy, Gus. There's, there's nothing in that direction except the road you arrived on. Walking all the way back there probably isn't a good use of your time right now. Keep out. Probably nothing you want in there anyway. Going out of business seems inaccurate. Okay, I will be right back. The army surplus door is closed for the night. No, I'm not. Shit, I didn't want to walk in there yet. Whoops. Uh, the bell over the door jangles as you walk into Murray's Antiques. The young woman at the counter looks up as you enter. Oh, hi, you must be Gretty. We don't get many customers at this time of night, or at all, really. That's me. You were expecting me? Yeah, Murray didn't say much about you, but he gave me that letter to mail. My name's Jessica. Oh, jeez, you're soaking wet. Come on in and I'll get you a towel. You walk over to the counter, trying not to drip on any vintage bric-a-brac as Jessica grabs a threadbare bath towel from a shelf and pulls the bag off before tossing it to you. Thanks. Is Uncle Murray here? His letter wasn't very specific. He isn't. You said that in kind of an ominous way. Where is he? Jessica sighs. I wish I knew. He had a line on another artifact and said it was going to be a tough one. I told him he should get some backup, but he wasn't willing to wait. He just wrote that letter and told me to mail it if he didn't come back. Is there something I'm missing here? This is an antique shop, right? You're trying to talk Great Aunt Ruthie into selling her mother's Chesterfield. You make trying to sell, trying to talk Great Aunt Ruthie into selling her mother's Chesterfield sound like a deadly spy mission. Yeah, this is going to take some explaining. Well, I'm definitely intrigued now. We gotta help them. Jessica leads you into a back room furnished with some desks and some strange looking machinery. Welcome to our back office, the hub of our little operation. I'm guessing by operation you're talking about something other than antiques. Well, yes and no. See, a few years ago, Murray found out that there's a bunch of antiques circulating that are, well, Inky would be a real understatement. Inky? 
Murray called them tainted. Dark magic, real bad mojo, you know? Cursed. Are you serious? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, for a second I thought you were making bath with gin or something. I'm going with that one. It's no joke. That's what our real job is here. The antique store is just, well, not exactly a front. We found a lot of regular antiques, too, and solving them keeps us in scratch. But really, we're trying to hunt down all these evil doodads and neutralize them so nobody gets hurt. And Uncle Murray went out to get one and never came back. That's the long and short of it, yeah. What do you say? Are you in? Oh, absolutely. I'm always up for a crazy adventure. Well, yeah, I can't just live in lurch like this. I don't like the sound of it, but he's family, so... In other words, you can't get out of this no matter how you think of it. So... Yeah. We're going to go with he's family. Great! You hear the shop door opening after a moment. A goblin pokes her head into the office. Hello? Oh, hey, that's swell timing. Hey, Gabby, Murray's sister's kid showed up. Come meet her. Hi, Gabby. Pleased to meet you. I'm not changing the pronouns. You can. This is where you pick the pronouns, which I think is a really nice thing. It is. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Um, very nice of the game to be so accepting. Um, it was not west of loathing. It was less of a thing, so it you just went by there. You know, whatever... Yeah, uh, you know, you you chose it at the beginning. You didn't get a pro yeah. choice, but we will go with A because I'm used to people calling me she. I'm actually used to calling people calling me anything. Hi, Gabby. Pleased to meet you. Hi, hello. The pleasure is all Gabby's. Gabby, would you be here and carry her luggage into Murray's room and grab some blankets and stuff out of the cupboard? She can sleep there till we find Murray. You've gotten it. Gabby picks up your suitcase and carries it through a door in the back of the room. Great, I could really use some sleep. Okay. This desk is a mess. Ask Jessica about it. Whose desk is this? Murray's. I keep nagging at him to straighten it up before someone bumps into it and we have to call the National Guard to dig them out of the avalanche. With curse-proof shovels and a squad of exorcists handy. Anyway, best not to mess with it. Will do. I mean, won't. You don't have time to play games right now. You cannot even hazard a guess as to what this contraption does, although I'm sure we will find out. A modern radio stands here in defiance of the concept of antiques. A white cat is snoozing on an old towel. That's just good about it. What's this cat's name? Calopy. Murray got her a couple of years ago. Scratch behind the cat's ears. Give Calopy a good scratching, but she doesn't react at all. Calliope. Why doesn't Goliath be like me? And she'll warm up eventually. Recommend her some sardines. She loves those. You have any sardines? No, we're all out. We can get some more tomorrow. They have them at the Cold War Surplus store next door. Okay, so we bribe the cat with sardines. Good to know. Nobody at this desk. That's Jessica. Uh, hey, Jessica, whose desk is this? Charles Wallace, our handyman. Oh, my God. And for those of you who don't know, Charles Wallace is a reference to Wrinkle in Time. He's up fixing a leak on the roof right now, but he'll be back later tonight. I see. Or maybe it isn't, and maybe I'm memeing, but Charles Wallace was the name of the protagonist in Wrinkle in Time. No, it's definitely a reference. There's nobody need, you need to call right now. You're not sure what this clock is telling, but it sure isn't the time. Is Jessica, talk to her. Yeah, okay then. Well, I'm going to turn in. Good night. Hang on a second. You can't go to sleep yet. I'm pretty sure I can. I bet I could do it right here while I'm still standing up. <laughs> well, I hate to spring this on you, but there's something we need you to do before the night's over. Uh, anything for Uncle Murray. You know those cursed artifacts I was talking about? 
Since the info on them is so sketchy, we've been working on a machine that can detect them with radio waves. I call it the Detectortron 1000. We've just gotten it up and running since Murray left, and it turned out there's a tainted thing practically right on our doorstep. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's not great. I was going to have Kathy go get it, but that's why, and that's why she came over tonight. But since you turned up out of the blue, uh, are you sure this can't wait till morning? I've been walking around all night in pouring rain, fetching gas for a bus driver. The thing's been there for who knows how long already. Sure one more night won't be the end of the world? I'm really sorry about this, but the end of the world might be, might well be the sort of thing we're talking about. Right, you're really putting the hard soul on me here. You won't have far to go. Just down to the other end of the block if the readings are right. There's a newspaper office that got shut down earlier this year. It should be in there. Well... Wow. Gabby will go with you. She's good in a fight. A fight? Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, hopefully it won't come to that, but you never know. Hey, Gabby! Gabby reappears with an expectant grunt. Go to the newspaper office with Greddy and help her get that hat, okay? Okay, Gabby is ready for action. Let's mosey. Gabby has joined you as a companion. Keep a grumpy sigh. Let out a tired sigh. Make an excited sigh. All right, fine. You said it was a hat, a cursed hat, according to the read Yeah, I meant a men's fedora, probably. As opposed to what? Just break in and take it? Great, exactly. I managed to finagle the spare key out of the guy at the realtor's office. I'm pretty sure that some ounce is breaking in there. You'll be in and out and back here and in bed before you know it. You got my newspaper office key. Well, okay. Wish me luck, I guess. <clears throat> Jessica's not going to let you sleep until you get that hat. You wonder where this door leads? Find out. You walk, you open the door, and there's just a recall behind it. The current thing goes nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, Gabby, let's go. Let's talk to Gabby. Gab with Gabby. Gabby, how's it going? All it's keen is a beach. She's a fat. Have you lived in Ocean City long, Gabby? Oh, yes. Yeah, all of Gabby's life is here. Gabby, it's great, 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 great game. Grand Gabby came and popping just some blocks over from here. Or two popping, as they would say. Haha. Uh -huh. Wow, so your family's been here for quite a while. Yeah, 14 years. Okay, we're going to quit. 14! It's a trash can. Full of trash. Dig through it. We find a discarded bottle of cologne. Alone. The note on the door says, please. It's for these. Gabby grins and gives you a thumbs up. I think this store sells broken glass and drafts. Hmm, this building looks perfectly solid. Maybe the people renting it that... Maybe it's just the people renting it that were condemned. Hmm. Okay. Given the current conditions, dark and stormy, you probably shouldn't wander into any alleys. Some ne'er well to do has deliberately vandalized this street lamp. Uh, okay. I just saw something. It's late. The bank is closed. You can't see anything interesting within walking direction in that direction. I saw something. But I can't make it pop up again. I hate that. Yeah, that drives me nuts. Yeah, I don't know what it said. Oh, if it doesn't pop up again, it's Probably not that important. Somebody scratched something. But I can't figure out. No. Alright. Unlock the door. Take a deep breath and unlock the door. You give the key to Gabby for safekeeping. Go inside. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Alright. Get some coffee. 
There's a little bit of very, very old coffee left in this percolator. Squirt in a cup. Nasty old coffee. See a corner of a note sticking out from under the dust blotter. Read it. The note says, Tucker, I got you that bottle you wanted. I stuck it under the water cooler where Burgess can't find it and rat us out frozen. That ends up a water cooler, huh? Surely it's not still there, but it couldn't hurt to check. Oh, hey, it's one of those Arcane Press newsfeed things. I can't gaze into it. Winning horse races. Okay, I am back. Keep watching. I'll come back. Charles Lindbergh mm -hmm. hooks you. Onlookers report it might as well be in. watching. Second edition of Prince of Mathematica published. We still cannot understand a word of this say local book. Reason Bards declare independence. Claim to watch Tavern is a sovereign city state. Today's list of band dances. Jet the Slider, the Dirty Dirty Blitz, the Upside Down Tiger. Jack Dempsey removes teeth to improve boxing still. More firm, says Tipper C in an interview. I'm, I'm sorry, was that English? Yeah. Severe storm causes trolley disaster. Prevents five other trolley disasters. Watching Prohibition agents confiscate 40 barrels of wine, 10 cheese wheels, and some nice fresh honeycomb also seeds. <laughs> Baby, you took the haircut. Barbara says you think you could have left a better gift. Racing guards to clear independence. Okay. Um, we got that. Half inch letter in the typewriter. Read it. The letter reads Reginald. I think Burgess is on to us. Gotten careless. In fact, maybe I shouldn't be typing this out as a letter instead of just talking. You in person, why am I doing this? Meet me under the water cooler this afternoon, Octopath. We're just saying slip. Sincerely, it doesn't say who it's from. The writer must have gotten fired before they could type their name. Also, under the water. What's that all about? Pink slip on his desk. Read it. Hendon, I'm not paying you to publish Akamani conspiracy theory. In fact, I'm not paying you at all anymore. Clean out your desk and hit the road. Reverend Burgess, Editor-in-Chief. P.S. Do you like the word cockamamie? I used it up there. It's a slang term I coined. It means ridiculous or implausible. Okay. Whoever worked at this desk Maybe. forgot the cufflinks. Burgess mm -hmm. cufflinks. Okay. I finished document. Government corruption at an all-time high. The government has once again slashed funding to city services social program citing waste, but without offering any supporting figures or explaining where the funds have been reallocated to. Additionally, anonymous sources report it cuts off abruptly, maybe as a result of the pink slip next to the typewriter. Look, Curtis, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times, not enough people to buy the paper anymore to keep the lights on in the joint. Electricity is expensive because it is a very recent innovation. As such, fully half your salary is paid by government subsidy. This is to say that that this is to say that the hand that feeds you is the hand you keep biting. Way to go, buddy. But you've given me no choice. Clean out your desk and scram. Purple Burgess editor in chief. Okay. Me. Like most bosses are. A uh, handwritten note on this desk. Read it. Robinson, first Hendon, then Carver, who's next? Venable says Burgess comes from him, he's going to karate chop his desk in half. Sincerely, Burgess <laughs> karate. karate. Hey, babe, am I a horrible boss? Do we? No, I get paid handsomely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Valid, since you are handsome. I was about to make a, a similar. <laughs> Carver, I can't believe I have to tell you this, but it's against company policy for an employee to steal the printing press. You were fired, you were so fired. I need a new phrase to describe you. I'm giving you the axe. And if I see you see your face in here again, I will give you the axe and set you on fire. Trevor Burgess said it in chief. Yes. Dang. How did you even lift it? You must have had what five accomplices? Unbelievable. You make a note never to pick a fight with this Carver person. Carver sounds like they suck. You see a th thin three room binder on this stick. You've got an item, mnemonic tube system operation menu. What's 
that I can't read it. Uh, read what? Okay, I can't read it. Unlike most old western, well? What can you not read? Uh, the handgun's tail. Uh, oh, it literally will not let you. Yeah. I thought you were saying that you couldn't read the text, and I was like, I'll read it for you. I can read it fine. You know, we could have had the diner coffee. And that might have... Mm -mm. No, it doesn't help. Okay. Well, if you if you try to drink it, it says it'll make you wait. It says it you'll have to wait. Looks like Venable made good on his threat. Search the wreckage. Mm -hmm. Nothing Venable made must have taken all his stuff before smashing it. Okay, why can't I move? The drawer on this one is slightly ajar. Funny, I thought it was a drawer. Mm -hmm. Ew, and that's the old leftovers. All right. It's the newspaper kind of archives. Mine do. Without anything specific you want to look up, this seems like a waste of time. Okay. It's a big heavy water tool. Good job. Thing to hide. Move it. Move it, move it. Hey look at the trap door. Of course. Oh god. It's fish headed things. Okay, you see them. It's calendar from 11 years ago. There's a huge black skull scrawled on July 22nd, 1917. So if you go back up the ladder and look at the... July 22nd, 1917, right. Uh, at the newspapers, it'll tell you. something interesting. Top storage and that date is the Ocean City Comptroller's passing of an overly complicated sidewalk right of way policy that outlawed street side newspaper vending machines and limited the maximum width of newsstands to four feet. The story continues to say that the watchful eye management raised concerns about loss of revenue and the Comptroller made a vague promise to divert city funds to make up for any future shortfall. Right to work that right for everybody. Mm -hmm. them. October 14th. <clears throat> a tragic accident certain to have no consequences. A tragedy occurred yesterday evening when Hiram O. Frolins, the owner of the first mass-produced commercial automobile registered in the state, accidentally struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker. A person standing on the side of the road attempting to solicit transportation from taxi motorists. Fortunately for Mr. Collins, the notion that vengeful spirits of the dead might haunt places of their demise in murderous phantasmagoric rage has been rejected by modern scientists rather unlikely, wouldn't you say? Unlikely, sure. Okay. Go through the door. It's an underground bed. Literally, there's a newspaper still left on it. Underground newspaper. Okay. I wonder what that's all about. I read it. Or manifesto specifically calling out the government expression of the local newspaper and the importance of a free press. There's also an amusing but bustling cartoon about a dog arresting a mouse for throwing a brick at a cat's head. Which the cat didn't seem to mind. Interesting. Okay. It's a control panel for the pneumatic tube system. Check it out. The panel has a green button, a red button, a big lever, and a knob with a bunch of letters on it, and a series of colored lights. They're all currently off. Mm -hmm. It's off manual. Oh, God. Green power on. Pump engage. Mm, Great. It's a 
bunch of red light, green light. Mm. All right. <clears throat> okay, so red AED, red, blue, green AED. Hmm. Here's the green button. Lever. Here's the green button. The lever. The yellow light. Red. Okay, so to say anything about yellow. Consult the manual, maybe? Consult the manual? Mm-hmm. It doesn't literally say anything about yellow. Red, blue, or green. Although, yellow is green, lime, and blue. Yellow light. Turn them on. Okay, so blue is E, green is D, yellow should be C. Hey, you got it, Mama. <laughs> Good job. Wow. I'm just going to get some very strange names. For those things anyway and what are they doing down here this must be the hat jessica wanted you to recover take it and i am terribly cursed fedora this is vaguely person shape staying on the ground okay let's see it's a very old man old trevor there's nothing else to accomplish with this machine Okay. So we didn't end up fighting them after all. One minute. Still some water in here. We're gonna fish. You got an item handful of clean water. Really provide cups for this. Okay. You decide you won't be needing the pneumatic tube system operation manual after all, and return it to the desk you grabbed it from. What's your thing to carry? Okay, so basically, unless I've got a date, I don't need. Okay, I don't know if I will need any of that. It was Gabby. How are you holding up, Gabby? It sounds like a cat meowing. So you're a flapper, right? Ah, yes, Gabby flaps all of the time. Gabby's parent flapped too, and Grand Gabby. But it's only been inside for seven or eight. Oh, right. Goblins, uh, well, you don't look very long, do you? Oh, hi, handsome boy. Depends on how you look for it. Parent Gabby popped a year and a half ago, but this Gabby basically is that Gabby, and previous ones too. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry too hard, forget it. Us goblins think Cuba baby making is super crazy. 
<laughs> We're not talking about that. No. How's it going? Did you find the hat? I found a hat. I guess it's the one you meant. It doesn't look unusual, although, yeah. Well, it does creep me out a bit. I, I can't really put my finger on one. I know what you mean. Feels kind of like you have a headache, except you don't actually. I like a feeling of dread. Something terrible is about to happen, but I don't know what it is yet. Well, that definitely is definitely not related to the fact that I need you to take that hat and go sit in that machine over there. And I'm like, that's our uncursing machine. Got to get the curse off that hat, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, but, uh, what? Can't we just put the hat in the machine? Why do I need to be involved? Because the machine needs a mind to guide the in-person process. Heather, you look the curse from the hat and transform it into sort of an allegorical dream space. The machine can transfix. What? Stop. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's a lot. Let me rephrase. <clears throat> the uncursing machine uses your subconscious mind to drive a wedge between an item and its curse. The item is cleansed relatively easily, but that doesn't negate the curse fully. Once separated from the item, the machine stores the curse and allows you to physically project it. Physically, no, not physically, psychically project into it to try and resolve the metaphorical scenario at the core of its existence. That's where things can get a little weird. Yeah, I know it sounds crackers, but you just have to give it a try to understand. I do? Why do I? This must be Charles Wallace. Speak to him. You must be Charles Wallace. Hi, I'm Freddy. That I am. Pleased to meet you, Freddy. What do you do around here? Oh, your general handyman sort of stuff. I keep the lights on and the water running, built the Detectatron and the uncursing machine, too. Wow, that's some really high tech wizardry. That's nothing really. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you something. Anything I can help you with? How does that weird uncursing machine work? Oh, I only built the thing. I can't begin to tell you how it works. The yeah. images are all wired up to a little porcelain cat figurine that Murray found somewhere. Oh, that's weird. In a real traditional sense. Yep. Hmm. Nothing right now. Okay. It's the uncursing machine. Sit in it. You sit in the chair, but you're surprisingly comfortable and pull the weird metal dome thing over your head. What would you like to un what would you like to uncurse today? Terribly cursed Fedora. No sooner have you sat down than the machine with hiss positively whiffs the Fedora straight up into the dome. The hat rattles around there in around in there angrily like a snake in a cement mixer, and after a good Loud minute, flops limp and wet into your lap. Whatever ominous energy once possessed the terribly cursed hat is gone. It is now simply a terrible hat. You got an item, uncursed fedora. But the curse itself still lives, transfixed as a dreamlike construct within the machine. Well, I guess it's time to get rid of the curse. Now how do I get rid of that curse? Hmm. See, curses are like energy, Greddy. They can't be created or destroyed, only changed. I can't remember who said that. Isaac Newman? Newton? Newton Newman, yeah. That machine knows how to take a curse from one object and put it on itself. But as for how you change a curse, well, I don't know. That's some higher consciousness spiritualist stuff. I don't know much about that. I'm more of a Newton Newman sort of guy. <laughs> the Fedora's curse bounces around in the energy of this machine. Daring you to come and project your consciousness inside it. Sounds safe, I'll do that. <laughs> Fedorial Reserve. It's the machine. And I have an axe. I wonder if there's a grinder. Now I will find me more 
A tree fell before its time, a ground stained with sin. Et in Ar Arcadia ego. Even in Arcadia there is death. Even in paradise there is a pillar. Now know who I am and why I am here. I utter, there has been a Mordor. What knowest thou of Mordor? That I did not do the Mordor, and that is all. What more have they for me? Only this, I am one of three brothers. One of us always tells the truth, one of us always lies, and the third of us does not speak at all, but on. If I find in thee a liar, there is nothing I can do to save thee. I cut her thou art serpent of, of the wood. I wow. Blessed be her bum she is blessed. Speak into the park tree. Good cower in the wood today, Cutter. I a tree has fallen in the forest and it has made a sin. But not me a sinner, that I assure thee. Thou claim to be without sin. None of us is without sins, but mine, mine do not run to Mordor. <clears throat> then whose? Look for my brother. Lead me not astray, thy brother speckens of three brothers. <laughs> one who always lies, one who always tells the truth, and one who does not specken at all but haunts. But speckin' of thee of this. This is fairy talk. Nothing has honkin' in this land since Mother Duck laid the big egg. No honkin' since then? No, sire. Please. Something isn't rotten. Something is rotten in the woodcutter. I am Mordor. With provisions, with perversions at its source. Speak to me of perversions. I have no thing to say, for I do not tarry with them. What do thou tell in me? I am troubled by the mortar, but of it I know nothing. Warn thee, my forgiveness makes no room for liars. <clears throat> ah, thou wilt do what thou must, Cutter, I have no doubt. My brother's speckin' of three brothers. <clears throat> one who always lies on her, one who just put out thoughts. What speck in thee of this? I do not honkin, sire, I swear in upon it. Never house the honkin? Never, never, to sin in mine eyes. Okay, so. The first guy was lying. The first guy is lying. Nothing has... He always speaks the truth. Thanks are cute. All right. Well, you're not sure what just happened, but as you turn over, you form one of the terribly cursed with the In your hands, you feel confident that the curse which plagued the starchy little felt thing is finally gone for good. You put the hat back on. You look sparkles now. But or upgrade. Now all you've got to reckon is whether you're the kind of gal who goes around wearing a fedora. <laughs> It'll do. I love it. What say you people? I think I love it. My back. Yeah, it's just if I have to talk to her. How'd it go? Uh, it worked, I guess? What was it like? Some kind of crazy dream. There's a woodcutter. That was me, I guess. And he's talking trees. One of them had sinned. You know what? Never mind. They a crazy dream is plenty for me. Okay, good. I mean, that... That was... The, the language alone was just bonkers to me. Yep. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that means you have to test that. Okay, so we're in this room now. Open the trunk. Ah, oh, what the heck? Everything is... Okay, apparently it burned up. You got a stamp from Murray's letter. Everything you own has been reduced to it. Lovely. Simple writing desk with no chair or pens or paper or anything. It's a shelf for knickknacks and chopped piece. Take a look. There's an old rag doll on the top shelf. Must have been left by the previous tenant. Okay. Lots of empty space in here. You should try to acquire a bunch of random flat flutter it up with. A television set. You've heard of these. Turn it on. Unfortunately, no shows have been invented yet. Okay. Boo. This would be a great spot for one night stand. Mm -hmm. You're so tired you can't even work the doorknob. It's time to sleep. You're very ready for this day to be over. Go to sleep. <clears throat> okay. This is the natural breaking point. I do believe. Well, we can chit chat for uh like twenty five minutes. Yeah, we can do that. We can go through the stream sequence and see how long it does. I can be the joint. Hmm? Lita trying to do math. Mean calling me out. <laughs> I've had to clear my calculator four times because I don't do math well. <laughs> um, That's okay. I apparently don't do drinking well because I just spilled my coffee all down the front of my shirt. Oh my god. Oh. It's a oh. white shirt too. Well, <gasps> now I guess it's a coffee colored one. <clears throat> Dang. Okay. All right. Shall we go through the stream sequence? Sure. Jacob Marley. These dorm beds are so uncomfortable. I find that hilarious. Oh, okay. So he calls that out. Cool. It's a poster of my favorite literary ghost. And just the desk. Oh, hello, Murray. Lots of people in this hallway. Talk to one of them. Hello, how's it going? You know which locker is mine? I can't remember which locker is mine. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's all right. I'll figure it out eventually. I wonder if you talk to them again, if they'll tell you something else. Okay. Check the first one. Driving colony of ants. Second one. Full of peanut butter. Third one. Happy shrine to Babe Ruth. Fourth one. Empty. Fifth one. Cookbooks, but they're all in French. Sixth one. Vast, uncaring emptiness of space. You sign it set, quick, shut quickly so it's not to suffocate. There isn't a seventh one. I said check the seventh one. Check the seventh locker now. <clears throat> okay, geez, you look in the seventh locker, it's filled with old school papers. Look at the papers. They've all got your name on. There are papers. Read one. Well, sure, of course they are. How I Spent My Summer by Gretchen Wren, age six. This summer I visited my Uncle Murray. Uncle Murray is funny. He knows magic. I had a fun time with Uncle Murray. The end. Under the papers. You look under the pile of school papers, you find a overdue library book. Please. Let's talk to it. Nice faces you've got there. Uh, shall we guess? Sure. I mean, we can try it a couple times. Let me start. Always less crowded now. Ah, 
It's Grudy, that cat from the gas station. Funny coincidence how you two just happen to have the same name. Aww. You gain an effect. Grudy Spoon. Our founder, Branwith Pervunculus Br Br III. This lady looks friendly. Talk to me. Hello there, you must be. She flipped through the book. Here we are, Wren, Greddy Wren. Yes, I'm Greddy Wren. I know I am, but who are you? I'm your academic advisor. It's time for you to choose a cl your class. Oh boy. I love that you wait this long in game to choose your class. But I dropped out. Certain in real life, certainly. You must, however, choose a class. Oh, I get it. This is for a character class. Now then, it looks like there are three classes for you to choose from. There's advanced kicking and throwing. This class is for pick skinners. Then we have an overview of card conjuring. This class for cheese wizards. And finally, weird time signatures 504. This is, of course, for jazz agents. You know, here's the funny thing. I think Weird Time Signatures sounds really interesting and Jazz Agent sounds great, but I I really don't do well when I, I go for Moxie. So we're going to be a cheese wizard. <clears throat> As trained chef magic, cheese wizards use their intellect and mysticality to accomplish their goals. In combat, they reveal hard elemental cheeses to damage their foes and soft soothing cheeses to heal themselves and their allies. Should we look at the others? Uh, yes, I want to see what they say. Yeah. Okay, let's think about it. Let's look at the jazz agent. Masters of syncopation and improv improvisation. At least we're not doing snakes this time. Jazz Ew. agents use their rhythm and moxie to move through the world in style. In combat, they attack with subtlety, weakening their enemies and stacking the odds in their favor over time. Mm, maybe not. Big Skinner. As accomplished athletes, pig skinners use their muscles to solve problems. In combat, they prefer the direct application of physical force, punctuated by giving the occasional noogie. On second thought, we are still going with Cheese Wizard. Makes sense to me. <clears throat> You're a Cheese Wizard, Greddy. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Now there's just the minor matter of your minor. It looks like already completed it, but it doesn't say what you studied. Oh lord. Not applied insectology. Cryptobotany sounds good. Applied insectology sounds disgusting. Mm -hmm. And the psychology of rocks, no. But cryptobotany sounds okay. Shall we go with cryptobotany? Sure. A cryptobotanist, you're an expert in all manner of plant based arcane. Actually, no, let's Actually, read the others. No. The implied. So, you're an expert on the bugs, birds, bees, and such. Yes, except for the birds, for our own and other options. Psychology of rocks. A psych psychogeologist, so you're not a. You know a lot about rocks and gems and their hopes and dreams. Once I, what do you think, guys? I'm I'm still going with cryptobotany, I think. Yeah. Cryptobotanist. <clears throat> well, with that, I believe we're done. Feel free to wake up and go about your day. Or how would I go about doing that? He smiles and points at the door on the right of the screen. I mean, the right side of the dream. Just go through that door. Thank you. Hmm. Pepper, get ready to get scratch. Ah, the abyss. You could gaze into it for days. Or not. Go on through. <clears throat> okay. I think that's a good place to end. Yeah, me too. Mm. We are in our room starting our second day. You awake, feeling surprisingly refreshed. Yesterday adventures leaving you none the worse for wear. Your effects reset each day as per usual. 
Okay. Character sheet. <laughs> okay. Wow. Jesus. F in Christ. Indeed. I have 40 XP. Hmm. Okay. I need to take a bio break. I will be right back. And then maybe we'll do some XP before we get started on the day. Jesus, I'm almost done with my mathematics. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway. Yeah. Possibly. I mean... I hope. Okay, there we go. Hey, babe. Mm -hmm. I love you. <gasps> really? Oh my gosh. I love you too. <laughs> Mom giggled. Mams love it. Yeah, they're crafting ingredients from plants. All right. Effects, gritty spoon. Oh, that's nice. I pet the kitty every night and get plus one. Sit. Nice. All right. Since it's a good thing we got the cat. Yeah. Always. Always get the cat. Mm hmm. It is vital. Okay. Here's the thing. We need to go ahead and get um, the quick whip mm -hmm. because we need to up the mysticality to match mm -hmm. everything else. Oh, my face just stopped working. Hmm? I just love that. Sorry? Uh, I just lost my face. I, I have to. Love? Just lost Dang, my face. babe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your mysticality helps you figure things out. Sound smart when you talk. And deal damage with magical weapons, mostly utensils. Okay. Um and that is what we fork majored in. Huh? Like a fork and knife? Usually a spatula, but yeah. I love it. Good eyesight. You can recognize the letter E from really far away. I have 25 XP. Okay. Perks. Thanks. All right. Let's see. We have an overdue library book. You checked out the, you checked this book out 13 years ago and have spent the last 12 years and 50 weeks feeling slightly guilty about not returning it. Didn't feel like reading it when you were in grade school and you don't feel like reading it now. Then why do we have it? I do not. Fishing rod. Um, I will do better with the grimy spatula. Equip. Okay, now my face is working again. Yay. Hmm. Haunted duck call. Works cufflinks and welding gloves. Okay. We're going to stick with the reporter's cufflinks for now. I have no rings. I only have fishing shorts. I have no shoes. And I have Mabel or Lucian. Mabel is healing. And Lucian increases. Muscle mysticality or moss. Equip Lucian for now. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I have four muscle, four or four mystically, and four moxie. Enter Fedora. Oh, okay. It's plus one moxie, but I don't have any. Of this. Okay. That's weird and dumb. What? That it doesn't let you have any of it. Oh. I just don't have any yet. Right. You haven't gotten any. Dumb. It's fine. I thought I misheard it as you can't have any other. No. I, I just don't have any others. All right. And I have 15 meat. Yahoo! So. <clears throat> difficulty normal. Pacifist mode. Invert Y axis. Hell no. Arachnophobia. No. Um, is she our rendering? We'll leave that on. What is this? This option is haunted. Shall we check the haunted option? Sure. Show up. Yes. <laughs> wow. I bet that's all it does, too. <laughs> A pacifist mode. Raise out dialogue options that would result in combat mode. Difficulty normal. Well, sh should we go for easy or relax for this first playthrough, or shall we leave it at normal? Um, I usually do relax. Yeah, Lita goes for the easiest. Well, easy is the easiest. Relaxed is not as easy, but not so bad. Yeah. I'm thinking with the puzzles, we might want to go with relaxed at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Build up to it. I don't have any rendering, show in game time. Skip confirmations, no. You won't encounter any spiders. You'll encounter so many spiders. We're leaving both of those unchecked. I don't mind a few spiders, but no. I think it's kind of nice that they, they give you the option to not have spiders in case. Yeah, me you, too. You happen to be like arachnophobic. Yeah. Okay. Main menu. We are going to exit the game. Wait, no. Select character? Oh, I see. <clears throat> You can delete Grady Brown if you want to. Already on it, I see. Okay. Now we only have one character, so we can options no. Yeah, I think the other one was just the prologue, and it was a lot of us going, "Aww." Yeah. We couldn't do it. Yeah. Exit the game. Okay. Woo! Okay. We're gonna leave that there for now. Mm-hmm. Fun. I'm enjoying I like it. it too. I'm enjoying it. It's it's really hard for me to not keep playing. The only the only thing is, of course, my mouth is getting tired. <gasps> I mean, I feel that though. Yeah. There we go. So, how is everybody else enjoying the game? I'm I that. love it. I'm gonna put I, I love how quirky it is. Yeah, same. Yeah, West of, that's what I loved about West of Loathing. And all the little references that were Yeah, you really had to be 
in the same headspace as the creator to get all of them. I'm sure I missed some. I know I did. That's one of the reasons it's like <clears throat> I'm looking at Charles Wallace with a, a side eye going, are you a reference or not? More than likely, yeah. Yeah, I don't think the creator can possibly be my age, but they do Oh, Wrinkle in Time was just a good fucking book, though. Well, I was thinking a lot of the references are things that I would know that maybe some younger people would not. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking of West of Loathing more than Shadows Over Loathing because we really haven't gotten into Shadows Over Loathing as much. But there were some things like Shaggy Dog Story. Yeah, so many people who played the game had no idea what that yeah, was. Yeah, it was just like, that went over the heads of so many younger people, and I'm going, yeah. Mm -hmm. When I yeah, saw that I'm... it was named Shaggy Dog Cave, I knew there was nothing there. It's, yeah. I, I didn't know about it until you said that, though. <laughs> Mama and Al are wonderful. <laughs> what? I've got, I got us on a, my just chatting screen. Yeah. And Rain says that the two of you are one with the desk. Yeah, we're I just floating heads. <laughs> I am one with the universe. That's what I like the dream sequence. I gotta say. Yeah, me too. The, the picking the character class dream sequence, that was fun. I like that. Same. Yeah, that was different. Yeah. I'm not sure I chose the right locker, though. I would assume it would tell you if you got the wrong one, though. No, I think it, it had. I don't know if it has anything to do with gameplay or not. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. But I should have told them the fourth one because it's the empty one. Why? Hmm? Why, why? Why would that be the one? Well, because it's the empty one. You don't want a, a, a peanut butter filled locker. You don't want a locker full of ants. Forgotten what the third one was. The sixth one was French cookbooks. One of yeah. them was the abyss. Mm. And I didn't want to send them to that one. But I, I think I sent them to the third one instead of the fourth one. I don't I hope they're going to be okay. Yeah, I hope they're okay. I assume we'll find out. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Th that's one of the things that I kind of dislike about this game, is that once you make a choice, you can't really go back and fix it. But then again, that's kind of like life. Mm -hmm. you, you can't, like back out and try again. She's kind of sad. Yeah. Abe, do you have any idea who do you want to read? Uh, no. Because I suggestion. Ooh, do you? Who's your suggestion? Dark Pixie. Ooh. I don't believe I know Dark Pixie. You will have to write up the raid message, because yes, I would be fine with that. Uh, You'd like her. She's playing demonologist. <gasps> Ooh, yes. I like that. Plus it would be aging. I'm, I'm glad you called the police question mark. That, that. That. Ooh. What? I hope everybody's okay. Somebody rear-ended uh, a telephone pole. Oh, God. At least it was rear-ended. Yep. The only time that's a bad bad news is when you're in a Volkswagen. Why? Uh, well, I don't know about the new ones, but the old ones, the, the engine was at the back of the car and the <laughs> trunk was at the front. Yeah. I don't think that they allow that anymore, so... It would have to be somebody who was into vintage cars. Anywho, 
I'm gonna go ahead and raid out to whoops <laughs> to d why is this not working? I it just keeps you, pressing enter on me. <laughs> do you do you want me to do it for you, babe? No, I think I got it now. You're welcome, Rain. Oh, before before we go, I want to say thank you, everybody, and we will. Mm -hmm. I will see you next Friday for family night again, and it's been fun. But indeed, yeah. All right, and I am gonna send you on over to Dark Pixie. Uh, I will be right back for uh, my husband because I'm going to dip to do my outro. Dip. Whoops. Love that this is going. All right, everybody. As always, be kind, be courteous, be awesome. I love you all so, so much. I will see you all tomorrow i'm gonna see you guys early because it is my early moment stream i will see how long i can keep it up my energy reserves are new. um but we'll see what we're doing i might do some art mm, i've been kind of feeling feeling the art lately <clears throat> so i'm gonna send you on over to dark pixie and i hope you all have a wonderful evening i love you all so so much so don't forget to take your meds and i will see you all tomorrow